Bonjour et bienvenue à French 2311, chapitre 6, leçon 6. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier l'impératif, l'impératif. Hello, my name is Dr. Tin, je m'appelle Dr. Tin et bienvenue à French 2311, chapitre 6, leçon 6. Hello, my name is Dr. Tin and welcome to French 2311, chapter 6. Lesson 6. Today we are going to learn, we are going to study the imperative in French. How to do commands, give pieces of advice and suggestions. Right? How to do suggestions, to do commands and then give pieces of advice in French. L'imperatif. Ça va? Très bien. OK. Page 160. 160. Page 160. L'impératif. L'impératif. The imperative means you're giving commands. You're ordering somebody to do something. All right? Or your suggestion. You're giving a suggestion to somebody. You're suggesting, you're suggesting that somebody do something, all right? Or you are giving that person a piece of advice. That is l'imperative, the imperative. Okay. Now, how do we do the imperative in French? How do you say stop? How do you say Speak. How do you say let's talk when you are part of the people the advice is given? Right? How do you say go? All of you go. And how do you say one person? You're talking to one person. Go. Right? Go home. Right? You're talking to one person. You're talking to a lot of people. Right? Say, go home, the same go, but in French, you see that the structure will change according to the subject. Right? Ça va? Just like in English, the subject pronouns are not used. See, the verbs are only used to do the commands, to do the suggestions, to give the pieces of advice. Right? You do the same thing in French. Pas de pronom sujet. No subject pronouns. So here, si arrête, allons, passer. These are the verb forms. These are the pronouns. To do the imperatif. <laughs> right? These. Subject pronouns are not used. Right? The same thing in English. If you want to say stop talking. See? You. Stop talking. Unless you want to put emphasis on you. Right? You say stop talking. You want to say, let's go to the restaurant. Right? You will use the new form. When you yourself, you're part of the command. Right, you use the new form without you using the pronoun itself. Right, the new form, the verb form will be O and S. Right, good. And then here, if you're talking to a lot of people, you say, Have a nice day, right, or spend a nice day, right, there you use the V. Plural form, or if you're using the formal vu where you are being respectful, 
right? You use a vu form without the pronoun itself. The subject pronoun is not used in doing the command, just the verb forms. Okay, so here, see we, the verb form will go with to, but you won't use to in your command. Here, the verb form will, will be used. The verb form that goes with no will be used without the pronoun itself. The same thing with vu. Three forms of commands. The same thing you do in English. You go home. Let's go home. And then you plural. Go home. Right? Without you using the pronouns unless you put an emphasis on who you want to direct your commands at. Ça va? So, tu, nous, vous will not come into play. Just the verb forms. But you realize that it tu, arrête, there would have been an S here, right? It's E and then S, right? Tu, E R verb, right? When you are using the you are using an er verb, you drop your s. Er verb, you drop your s with the two pronoun. So you see that is arrête. The s is not there. Arrête de parler. Arrête de parler. Stop talking. Right? If you yourself, you're part of the command. This is where in English we will say let, let's, or let us, right? Allons au restaurant. Let's go to the restaurant. It's the new form, right? So you use the new form of the verb without the subject pronoun. Without the subject pronoun, okay? Here too, without the subject pronoun. Passer une bonne journée. Alright, have a nice day. You spend a nice day. Spend a nice day. Pass a nice day, right? Okay, have a nice day. Now, in example one, we're dealing with ER verbs. ER verbs. There, right? Regarde. Regarde. You see that is two without a two, and then we drop our S, right? Our E verb, drop the S, that will go with two. And then the ending is ES, right? Drop the S, right? The sound is the same, okay? And then don't use the pronouns. Regarde, regardons, regarde, look, right? Now here, let's look, regardons. The new is not used, right? And use the pronoun. Now, regardez, you, all of you, look, right? Are uh, you, and then you're t when you're talking to somebody, you respect a lot of the form of you, right? See, regardez, right? The endings are the same, the endings are the same. It's just that with the true form, you drop your S. Ça va? Ça va bien? With the verb aller. See, the conjugation of the verb aller is an irregular verb. But the forms are just like the ER verbs when you are doing the imperative. Right? So, you look at how the verb is conjugated. And then, it will, the, the verb forms will go with the subject pronouns that the verb is conjugated normally with. So, here, allez, you see tu va, tu va, tu va. See the tu va, right? You drop your S just like you did with the ordinary ER verb. Here, it will behave like the ER verbs here. Right, you're left with V N A V A 
Ah, right, so va, go. You do the, you add the X when you are using another, mm, like a, mm, a prepositional place. The E here means there, T-H-E-R-E. -E. So go there because of the E, you will bring the S. So vazi, vazi, go there, go along, right? Good. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Right. Vazi. Vazi. Go ahead. Right. It means go ahead. Vazi. Go ahead. When it's like that, then you bring the X. Just, just the exception. Right. The rest of the verb to be, uh, to, to go, you do the same thing you did here. The two form without the S, you bring the S when you have E which means there, all right? And in the translation, you will sometimes say, go ahead, right? Now, allons means let's go. See, it is conjugated like that in the present tense. So the conjugations of the verb aller. So allons means nous allons, let's go. Allez, you go, okay? So here you are following the conjugations, right? Of tu, nu, and then vous. You know, we don't use the subject pronoun. So va is when you're using e with go. That you say vas-y, allons, allez. When you're using an re verb, remember? You drop the R E and it's S S nothing O N S E Z right E N T the three forms Atom right here you don't drop the S R E verbs don't drop your S just do away with the subject pronouns and then do the conjugations as they will go with tu vous and then nu. So, the two form, atton, see the S is there, don't drop it. The new form, attendant, let's wait. This is to wait. So, wait, let's wait. You, right? You wait, attendez. The conjugations will be like that, all right? Fini, I are there. Look at the conjugations, don't drop anything except the subject pronouns right so see draw the r and the s s right s s t and then you have your s s s s and the o n s and e z so fini all right you want to continue add if you want to add other things you can here you can see you could have said wait for the prophet Professor, attend le professeur. You can add other words, right? So, attendant le professeur. Let's wait for the professor. Attendez, wait for the professor. Attendez le professeur. Fini, finish. I've added, tendez-vous, finish your homework. Right? Fini, tendez-vous, finish your homework. Finissons, let's finish. Let's finish. You can say, let's finish our dinner, right? Finissons notre dîner, right? Okay, and then you're talking to people. You say, other people, you're saying, finish uh, your dinner. Finissez votre dîner, right? Oh, finissez, finish. Finissons, let's finish. Fini. Finish, right? Fini ton devoir. Finissons notre dîner. Finissez votre dîner, right? Fair, the same conjugations. That will go with the subject pronoun without the subject pronouns being used in the imperative, in the commands, right? Or the suggestions are your advice, all right? So, fais la lessive, fais la 
lessive, fait la lessive, do the laundry. You're talking to one person, you do the laundry. Okay, fait la lessive. You know the expression, fait la lessive, to do the laundry. Okay, good. So, faisons la lessive, let's do, let's. You're part of the command, you're part of the suggestion, you're part of the advice. So, faisons la lessive. Now, you see that it's vous faites, right? Irregular verb faire. So, vous has been dropped because it's the command. It's a command. It's l'imperatif. So, faites la lessive. You're talking to maybe your children. A lot. You have two children. So, do the laundry. Boys, do the laundry. Girls, right? So, fait la lessive. Fait la lessive. In six and seven. Right? These rules don't apply. They are irregular verbs in the imperative forms. The, the imperative forms are irregular. They don't follow their normal conjugations. Right? Like the verb avoir, you know, is tu a, right? Tu a. Tu a. But we don't use the verb form a here, right? We use this irregular form a, a, a. It's a, i, e. Right? A, e, e. So it's irregular. Follow, follow these forms, right? To do the imperative. Don't use the regular conjugations of the verb avoir and être, because these are not the verbs forms you will be using for the imperative forms, right? Use these irregular forms. Et de la patience. Have some patience. Right? You're talking to one of your students. Hey, 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 cool down. Just have some patience. You will be okay. Et de la patience. Now, let's have some patience. Right? Ayant. You know, the verb form, the present tense will be Avant, right? You don't use that. It's ayant. Ayant de la patience. Let's have some patience. Très bien. And then, the former you form will be also irregular, right? Will be, will not use the verb form ave. It will be ayez, ayez la patience, ayez la patience. All right, have patience. You are, or uh, you're being respectful, uh, formal. You see, ayez la pas, ayez de la patience. Has have have some patience. Have some patience. Ayez, ayez, ayant, a, 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 ayant. Right, a, ayant, ayez, a de la patience. Have some patience. Right? Ayant de la patience. Let's have some patience. Ayez de la patience. You all have some patience. Now, when is the verb être? You know, it's tu es, right? Tu and then es. You don't use es, right? You use these forms of the verb to to do the imperative, to do your commands, or to give your advice, or to give your suggestion. So you use soi, soyons, soyez, soi, soyons, soyez. Sage, sage, sage means wise. W I S E. So be wise, right? Soi sage, soi. Sage. Be wise. Let's be wise. Right? Don't talk. Let us not talk 
Anyhow, let's be wise, okay? Soyons sage for the S here because it's plural. Let's be wise and you all be wise. Soyez sage. Soyez sage. All right? If there's one person you're talking to, being respectful, then you can drop the S here. But the verb, verb forms will be irregular with the verb act and not the normal conjugation of the verb être in the present tense. The same thing with avoir here, e, ayant, right? Ayez, être, soit, soyons, soyez. Now to do the negation with ne pas or ne plus, okay? Ne pas, not, right? It's the same thing you do. The ne and then the pas will surround the verb. So it will surround soi, it will surround, they will surround soi, they will sur surround soyons, they will surround soyez. The same thing, e, ayant, ayé, right? The verb form, the, the verb forms will be sandwiched by ne pas. Here, ne pas surrounds the verb prend. Is the two form right? The two form of the verb prend, prend with the s, right? Ne prend pas, ne prend pas de sucre. Don't take sugar, don't eat sugar, right? So ne pas was around the verb, right? The verb forms of the imperative just around the ne and pas with uh, the verb in between. Here you see that is a vowel. There is a vowel here, there is a vowel here. So the N, right? The E will be dropped and then you put your apostrophe in front of these and then followed by PA. So ne pas de la, ne pas de patience. You see this will go away in the negation, right? Très bien. So, ne prends pas de sucre. Don't eat sugar. Don't take sugar. Ne bouvons pas trop de café. Ne. See the verb form of the verb boire, right? The new form of the verb boire, the conjugations are the same. These are just the irregular ones, the verb être and avoir. The rest of the verbs will follow their own conjugations as to what commands you want to do all right so here is no buvon right remember we drink you want to say don't drink so is the buvon 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 let's not drink ne buvon pas trop de café let's not drink a lot of coffee ça va ne buvon pas Trop de café, ne empower around the verbs, right? The verb forms of the imperative forms of the verb you are using. Ça va? Au revoir et bonne journée. Bonne journée. Have a nice day.